Hi guys and welcome to the Bristol City Sheffield Wednesday review. If you could subscribe to the channel, like the video, share the video and if you want to donate there's links in the description below on how to do so. So we are going to be playing Bristol City who have done okay to start the season to be fair but it's one of those teams that you always look at and think they're going to do okay but like I said in the preview this is the first time we're going to get the Bristol City team and it's not Lee Johnson at the helm for management. Uh, so that'll be interesting to see what happens if they change their style of play at all. Now, we really need to win. Like I keep saying, I can't keep stressing this enough. The quicker we get to zero, the better. So if we can get a win and get some goals in as well, which will be even nicer and get another clean sheet that would be fantastic but we got to play well Bristol City are still a very good team now there is talk of Callum Patterson coming in from Cardiff uh, he got left out of the team yesterday so that could be another addition that's going to come in next week they've been talking about I.O. for possibly going to Watford on a big money deal but I can't see any of that being true just because of how Chancery have been in the past when it comes to things but if he did go I will want anywhere between 10 to 15 million and if it's near that 15 million I want 5 million add-ons because he's going to be a very good player uh, well he is a very good player let's say that the team new today is Dawson, Palmer, Lees, Iortha, Van Aken, Harris, Brown, Lungo, Bannon, Windath and Kachunga the subs are Wildsmith, Adrabayo, Boren, Della Vassa, Shirai, can't say his name still, Pelopetti, Reach and Rhodes. Now, there's a lot of people saying why Rhodes isn't in the team for this one. And that's the first time I've heard that in a very long time, to be fair. Um, so let's see what we can do. Hopefully we can get three points against a very good Bristol City team at times. So let's see how we can do and hopefully get three points and get us even closer to zero. So in that first half, we did very well to be fair. We was it's been a very balanced game and we've had chances and it's one of those cases that we don't take them, which is a real shame. We played some really good football, get forward, got some good pressing. We kept them at bay. They've had chances, but nothing on target or clinical enough. And that for both teams, to be fair. Both, oh, give me. Both teams have really, really struggled with um, just trying to get the ball in the back of the net. And it's one of those things where it's going to have to get a little bit better from us trying to get that ball in the back of the net. Great. Crosser going forward, great attacking. We look very defensively solid, actually. And that's something I don't think we've been able to say about Wendy in a long time, that we've been really solid at the back. And we look really secure and everything seems okay. It's just that final little finish we need. And Winda had a great chance. It was a fantastic ball in by Kachunga. Uh, there was a header by Lees at the keeper. And Van Aken been kicked a lot in the game, but he's doing okay. If what does thing, we are doing okay, but we need to like bring it up a bit. If we can bring it up a bit, that'll be a lot better. Hopefully, we can get on and get it all sorted. But we've done really, really well in this game, and really looking like we're gonna go on and get more. Hopefully, at, at the second half, we can come out a bit more fighting, see what happens, and try and just add a bit more to it. Try and add a bit more pace when we're going forward. Try and just have that clinical finish because we, you've got Longo, who do really well in the middle, breaking things down and then getting the ball attacking. Brownie being our attacking flair and it's working really well. Palmer's doing really good in left back. Uh, all in all, it's been a good performance. All we're missing is that goal. And I think we could go on and get another one with the way we're playing at the moment. So hopefully that happened. It's currently nil-nil at half time and we'll see what happens in the second half. But we really need to get a win to get down to zero. What can you say about that second half really? Um, didn't take our chance in the first half. And they cut us open so easily. In that game, in that second half, they were so much better in that second half than we were. 
the goal, we just work marking and good header back down and they get the goal. And we don't really, after that goal goes in, we don't really get back in the game. We're not clinical enough in front of goal. We really struggled at times Times there. We got the ball and we got forward and we were going forward and trying to make things happen, but nothing really stuck. There was a period after they scored the goal, they nearly got a second straight away. And we looked rattled. And it's really bad in one sense because our defence has looked pretty solid most of so far this season and this game has shown that we lack a little bit of grit in us a little bit of like when something doesn't go right to try and go back get into a game we really struggled in that game to try and get a chance and even make one of our chances converted in that second half if we convert our first half chances We'd be fine. But it's the same thing we had the whole of last season and the season before that. We don't take our chances. And they make it 2-0 right near the end of the game. Uh, just poor defending by us again. And it's just not what you need when you're on minus eight. When you're on minus eight points, you have a deficit already and you're having to claw game back. No one said this season was going to be easy. Let's be, let's be fair. No one said it would come easy, but it's 10 times harder for us when we're starting on a neg- negative number than everyone on a zero, on a positive number. Uh, so we really need to start, put this one behind us, go into the QPR game next week, bring in a striker or two next week as well so that can hit the ground running and start scoring goals and start taking these chances. Because... We need to take chances. If we don't take chances and we have this thing where we do one first half well and then second half we don't do well, it can be same old, same old. We need to start taking chances and that's the key for us at the minute. We don't take chances. Uh, there was a great chance if Deli Batsai passed it to Windass. It's 1 0. He's open. But he goes forward looking for the goal, looking for a penalty. But it wasn't a penalty. Uh, Harris had a free kick on him and it would never be a car. But he gets onto that ball, he probably gets it in the box, and we make an opportunity. We just, like I said, it chances. We don't take them. So, we have now lost our first league game of the season. We're still on minus eight. And we'll just have to improve and hopefully get people in for next week um, for the QPR game. And it just, it's just really annoying because we didn't play bad. That's the thing. We played really, really well. We kept the ball well. We just can't take our chances. People are going to say that we played really crap, same old Wednesday, but we didn't. We actually played really good. So let's see what happens, and hopefully we can just put this one behind us and move on to the next game. But please like the channel, subscribe to the channel, share the channel. If you want to donate, there is links in the description below. To the Patreon, there's a... PayPal, and there's also a Kofi. Thanks for watching, guys, and it, sadly, it's a loss for Wednesday.